Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for May June 2024 Variant 2.1 I am going to do the uh, document production task now So you have been supplied with the following source files First we need to prepare the evidence document Open the evidence.rtf and you need to insert your name, candidate number and details in the header so go to insert header give your name center number and candidate number save this as evidence followed by your candidate number and make sure it is saved as word document Now we'll start the document using a suitable software package. Open the file childcare.rtf. So this is the required file. Now the page setup is set to A4 portrait and two centimeter margins. Do not make any changes. Three paragraph styles are already created. Do not make any changes. Save the document in your work area with the file name nursery make sure it is saved in the format of the software we are using so let's save this it should be saved as nursery and as a word document the type should be word document save Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure there is evidence of the file type. So this is the folder. Make sure the file type is shown properly. Now you can take a screenshot of this. That is your step one evidence. Place in the nursery document a right align header on a single line. Prospectus produced by, followed by a space, then your name, center number and candidate number. So on the right side in the header. So insert header, go for three columns. We don't have anything on the left or in the center. So here you have to type prospectus produced by give a space then your name center number candidate number use the header and footer Next, a left aligned footer with automated page numbers. So, insert footer. So, left aligned, only left aligned we need. We have to insert page number. So, go to page number, current position. So, the page number is inserted. Make sure that all header details are on a single line. All the alignments match the page margins. No other text or placeholders are included. So you can just go through it. It is on one line and it matches the alignment. Create and store the following style basing it on the default normal paragraph style. So we have to create a style called TC title. So for that here you can see styles so on home tab you can see styles click on the scroll bar there is an option create a style give the name of the style here tc title click on modify it should be based on the default normal paragraph style so style based on 
you need to select normal here. So the phone style is serif, phone size is 32, alignment is center. Serif, an example of serif phone is Times New Roman. The size is 32. And the alignment is center. Then uh, bold italic, line spacing is single, space before is zero and after is six. So bold italic. Now for the line spacing, go to format, paragraph, single line spacing. Before is zero and after must be six. Take a screenshot to show that you have defined these styles. So you can take a screenshot of this windows. Okay. okay. If this changes, because your cursor was here, if it, this changes, go back to normal. So we go back to body. Now let's paste the evidence here. Next, apply the TC title style to the te uh, title text Tavara dot style care. So select this. We have to give the title here. Select the subheading staff and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending enjoy their new surroundings so staff and enjoy their new surroundings so let's find that paragraph Control f so that you can find it just type one or two words of the paragraph so that means till here we have to select from the staff from the heading staff so from here till this paragraph select and we need to change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with a one centimeter space between the columns so go to layout columns more columns set it to two the spacing must be one centimeter and it is of equal width give ok modify uh, the style name tc subhead has already been created modify the subhead style so that only the following formatting is applied so we have to modify tc subhead you can see tc subhead is given here so right click modify It should be sans serif 14 central light. Sans serif. So set it to area. 14 central light. Italic bold all caps. So we don't need underline. So remove that first. Italic bold all caps. For all caps go to format font select all caps here give ok then single line spacing space before and after is 0 and 7 so go to format paragraph single line spacing before is 0 and after is 7 Take a screenshot evidence of this to show the modified style. So let's take a screenshot.
So this is the required style. Apply a numbered list formatted as 127 for the text from communication and language till arts and design. So here you can see this is the text. We need to apply a numbered list. So go to numbered list, numbered as 127. Make sure the numbers are aligned to the left margin of the column. The list is in single line spacing with no space before or after each line. There is a seven point space after the last item in the list. So the numbers should be aligned to the left margin. Right click, go to paragraph. It should be aligned to the left margin. Give OK. Or else you can just click on the slider. Click on this and make it left aligned. So it is left aligned now. Now we have to apply single line spacing and zero spacing space between all this. So right click, go to paragraph with no space before or after. So single line spacing, no space before or after. So both of them must be zero. Give OK. There is a seven point space after the last item in the list. So just select the last item, right click, paragraph, after you have to give seven point, give OK. Import the image logo.jpg and place it in the paragraph beginning. We have eight spacious playrooms. So this is the paragraph. We have eight spacious playrooms. If you don't find, you can press Ctrl F and just type the names to find the paragraph. Now let's insert the image here. Insert picture. GIF. This is the logo. Insert. Rotate the image 180 degrees with the image size and aspect ratio maintained. So select the image on picture format, on rotate, you can give, go to rotation options and you can give 180 degree, give OK. Format the image so that it is aligned to the right margin at the top of the paragraph and the text wraps around the image. So we have to Wrap the text and it should be aligned to the right march. So select the image on format. You can see wrap text, set it to square. Now it should be right aligned. So move it to this margin and it is aligned with the paragraph. Locate the table in the document. Format the table so that the table width is set to 13 centimeters. So first let's find the table. So this is the required table. Select the table. The table width should be set to 13 centimeter. So right click table properties. The width should be. 13 centimeter. Give OK. All the rows are set to 1 centimeter high. Right click again table properties. The row. The height should be 1 centimeter. Give exactly. So give OK here. 
the data is central line and vertically in each row so you can go to layout table layout select this option so the data is central aligned vertically and horizontally the table is central aligned within the page margins so you can just select the table central line so it is central line within the page margin spell check and proofread the document make sure that the list and table are not split over columns or pages there are no widows or orphans there are no blank pages so let's go through the document before that spell check should be done so go to review spelling and grammar so spellings are correct here you can see all the spellings are correct next we need to make sure uh, there are no widows or orphans table and list are not split there are no blank pages original styles are maintained so let's go through the document so you can here you can see that this paragraph starts here so let's bring it to the next page go to insert page break so this will come to the next page so everything else is fine so this is the required document next task is database task it's already done and uploaded you can find the link in the description thank you for now